just lighter amounts. But most of the damage has already been done. Now, we don't have heavy snowfall accumulations in the city, but the winter weather advisories are still in effect, and we're going to see that snow tapering off to showers, leaving a few slushy inches on the ground a little bit more to the north and west of town. Coming up, we'll talk about another winter storm approaching. That's in the exclusive 10-day forecast. David, back to you. All right, Erica, thank you. Our team coverage continues with News Force Tracy Strahan in Ridgefield, New Jersey. Tracy, you were the first of our crews to see snow. Okay. Thanks, Sue. All right, Sue, thank you. Same to you. Okay, Erica's back here to update us on the progress of this system moving through. Well, it's progressing along, and we're going to start to see that snow taper off. The accumulations have been earlier this morning, and we did see amounts of more than five inches in a couple spots, but for the most part, this has been a light snow event for us. So let's go live right now to Storm Tracker 4's Red Sweep, scanning the tri state, most powerful for, uh, forecast uh, technology that we have here, delivering accurate real time updates. And I'm going to zoom in for you on a couple areas that are still getting moderate to heavy snowfall, taking a look along the Garden State Parkway toward Henninger's Mill, Old Bridge, along Route 9. We still have moderate to heavy snow. You see those wet, chunky snowflakes falling. Same deal along our south shore of Long Island, Harbor Green, Copeg. Also along the Sunrise Har Highway, we're seeing some of that moderate to heavy snowfall at the moment. We'll take over in the afternoon. We're going to taper off that steady snowfall and change over to on and off snow showers. Along with that, stronger winds develop. And temperatures are going to drop like a rock tonight, as if it's not cold enough out there already. We're going to see wind chills bottoming out in the single digits, and it's going to be bitterly cold all weekend long. Then we're going to keep an eye on another storm that looks to arrive on Tuesday. Right now we're below freezing in Tenafly. It's 31 degrees there, just above freezing in Jersey City at 33, but it's 32 in Central Park and Long Branch, 32 also in Bridgewater and Morristown. Those temperatures really dropped as the snow started to fall, but the winds aren't too bad just yet. We're only looking at a gust of 18 miles an hour in Monticello and 21 miles per hour in Islip. So we'll watch those winds increase as this system pulls away and moves out into New England. You can see those streams of snow showers here off the lake effect. That is usually an indication of stronger winds when you see those bands forming. And that's exactly what we've got. This is how much snow we're expecting when it's all said and done. Three to six inches just to the north of the city. The higher elevations in here, the more mountainous areas such as northern Bergen and Putnam counties, also Rockland County up toward Orange County. That's where you're going to see the heavier snow amounts. One to three inches in the city on Long Island and central and southern New Jersey. Further to the north, there's just not enough snowfall, so it's light and powdery, one to three inches there. But look at what happens after the snow moves out. Temperatures just falling off, and winds will get strong, too, all the way down to 18 tonight in New York, 6 in Liberty, and then only rebounding to a high temperature of 29 degrees tomorrow. It doesn't get any better on Sunday. A high just taper it off to snow showers just one to three inches in the city and for Long Island and this is slushy snow only accumulating on those grassy surfaces three to six inches though especially in the higher elevations that dot this area in northern Bergen northern uh, portions of the Passaic County and Rock uh, Rock Rockland County as well uh, stay tuned we will have another update for you coming up at 1 p.m. These plunging temperatures, if you already have plants that are starting to uh, emerge, they are going to get frozen solid overnight tonight. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that's what we're looking at. And right now we're looking at Storm Tracker 4's live red sweep, giving you the most detailed and accurate information as to what's happening right now at this moment. And we're going to zoom in on just one of those small but pretty heavy showers that are still moving through. We have some uh, snow falling along the Garden State Parkway, also over toward Neptune per hour falling out on Long Island. As we told you, it would be steady snow during the morning hours, breaking up to snow showers in the afternoon. And that's all we're left with right now. And this is how much we're left with on the ground in Eastport on Long Island. It's six and a half inches. Neptune picked up 3.8. Green Pond, New Jersey, five inches. And in Central Park, just 2.1 inches, but much more snow ahead in the exclusive 10-day forecast. We'll talk more about that in a minute. All right, Erica, thanks. We have a live look at Kennedy. Has impacted air this is moving offshore and it will diminish and it will diminish 
The wind is causing delays at JFK and LaGuardia. Look at those delays at LaGuardia. JFK and LaGuardia. Look at those delays at LaGuardia.